state of New Mexico is receiving $32 million in a settlement with the Environmental Protection Agency because of the Gold King mine spill. John Carnell traveled to the banks of the river today to show us where the money's going. We're here in Farmington, and right behind me here is the Animus River. Back in 2015, the water was not as clear as it looks today because of the Gold King mine spill in Colorado that put toxic metals into that water. Today, the state of New Mexico is receiving compensation for what happened. It's $32 million that is dedicated to the damages and the restoration for this community and county. On Thursday, New Mexico state leaders announced they've reached a settlement with the U.S. and EPA following the Gold King mine spill that contaminated the Animus River. You know, this was nearly six years ago. This is nearly half a decade of fighting in the courts, uh, but ultimately the federal government uh, came to the table and accepted responsibility. The $32 million will be split up to help New Mexico communities along the Animus River. 18.1 million, which is really to restore the entire community. 10 million for natural resource damages, and then up to three and a half million in grant funding for the San Juan Animus water quality and river flow monitoring. But it's not just the state of New Mexico receiving compensation for the spill. I'm glad to hear that also they They've secured investment dollars for their community. The Navajo Nation also got $31 million from the EPA. We will uh, accept uh, $31 million so that we can put our efforts uh, in improving the, the ecosystem, uh, cleaning that up, and also helping our, our, our region there overcome that uh, tough time that they went through. State leaders say those millions of dollars could be seen as early as August. Reporting in Farmington, I'm John Cardinelli, KOAT Action 7 News. In addition to the 32 million New Mexico got, another 11 million came from the mining company that will also go to help communities affected by the spill.